Hey all, welcome to my video. Today in this video I will show you an advanced cutting method. Let's start together. It's a quite simple part, but the philosophy behind of this cutting is very important and good. So, first in front plane I will create a sketch. Here I drop a rectangle. The rectangle I use with the dissect center one. The next operation press Ctrl and select two objects. Ctrl is keep, kept pressed and we make them equal and then we assign a dimension which is 50. I close the sketch. I made extrude. Mid-plane option open and we write here a 50. Now we can continue to next step. Sketch 3D sketch. I will pick a line. I will drop here across this edge and then here and then back. So in a 3D dimensional plane we created one line. Maybe I can do for you one more time. We go to sketch, 3D sketch and it's not important in which orientation. I pick a line and I drop from edge to edge and then I combine three of them. So control is pressed, I select three objects and I make them equal. Then the last operation will be assigning this distance which is 10. Because object is uh, everything equal and we are working with a cube so automatically other uh, constraints are fixed. So this is good. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna uh, select a surface operation which is load surface. I will select here origin and I will select after my sketch. So I got some things and let's hide my part and see what we got here. We got this shape which is looking okay but we need to do some operation. Extend surface, we will select edges and then we will write here at 10. Okay, we got something like this. Show the solid surface and at the end we will have an object looking like this. Now, under surfaces, cut with surface, I select this object and the cutting will be inwards. If you cut outwards, uh, the cut part will be the outer of this part, this uh, body, but if you selected this one, it's going to cut only for me this section. And I'm okay. Let's hide it and see what happens. Yeah. Which is good. Okay. This is what we wanted to have. And now I'm going to uh, move ahead. Now I will select plane. I will select three reference this point, this point, and this point. So I created a plane which passed through this three point and this is okay. Now what I'm going to do, select origin, select plane and go to axis. I will create here an axis because I will copy my uh, cutting object which is a surface body. So surface body and axis selected Let's see if program understands and we're gonna select a circular pattern. It didn't understand. Body section will be active. I select my surface. This is good. I made this intentional. Now we're gonna get an error. This is a typical error SolidWorks always gives, uh, which has to do with the philosophy of the program. I will say it is copied object cut the other section as well. But it will not do because operation failed due to geometric condition. What happens here, SOLIDWORKS in this point will have a zero thickness where two objects may met. It will not work. So we need to create there a little cheating object which will allow us to, to complete this operation. This is simply creating in the top plane a sketch with a cut I will say mid plane cut for me with a length of 5. 
yes it is got it now it is going to allow us since we're going to fill that area with a new object it doesn't matter if we have there and uh, cut out so circle pattern is selected we go surfaces cut with surface surface di cutting direction is good and then we get this guy now it is good we can hide objects that we don't need anymore which is plane and axis on the front plane I will create a sketch and I pick a rectangle and I place here exactly the way how we made in the beginning so control is pressed two line is equal and 35 Now I'm going to make an extrude and okay it is a cube inside of cube in fact it's a very uh, nice example to understand the, the working principle of the program it was a question from a uh, watcher and uh, for him I modeled this part and uh, I thought also it's a really good example so uh, the only operation missing now is fillet which is most easy one always as you know we are only going to select the surfaces and this one this one this one mm, it doesn't give a uh, preview so I think we have a select some other objects as well let's do that yes at the end preview appeared yes this was it guys and uh, i hope you learned something new uh, in this pro uh, in this session if you like it please hit the like button if you have some difficult models you can always write me to ask and advise and if it is really worth to make a video i will definitely make for you a video about it yes i assign a material and change the display state so that looks better and better good guys see you in another video bye bye